Hello, I'm Nikoya, and today I'm going to talk to you about a reading strategy called skimming. So what is skimming? Well, it's a reading strategy that helps us find the main idea of a text fast. Why do we skim? Well, we skim to read and understand more quickly. Skimming helps us do several things faster. First, it can help us know what kind of reading we're looking at. For example, are we reading a fiction story, an essay, a news article, a blog, or maybe something else? It also helps us get the main idea fast, especially if we're reading a really long text. It can also help us remember the main idea of something we already read. Instead of rereading the whole story or article, we can skim to quickly refresh our memory. Finally, skimming can help us quickly decide if it's important or interesting for us to read the whole text. Maybe if we skim, we will find out quickly that the article is not helpful to us or won't help us in our studies, or maybe it's just not what we want to read right now. So when do we skim? Well, we skim before we read for details. We skim the first time we see a story or a reading to find out if we want to keep reading it for deep information. Also, we skim when we have a lot to read, but we don't have very much time. Now, how do we skim? Well, it's simple. We only read the most important parts, and we read them in a special order. So what are the most important parts, and what order should we look at them? Well, first, the title. Second, pictures, if our reading has pictures. Then we look for subheadings. These are like small titles inside of our text or reading. Then we want to read the whole first paragraph. Then we just read the first sentence of all the other paragraphs. Finally, we'll read the last paragraph. After we look at all of these things in this order, we should quickly have a main idea of the article or text that we're looking at. So let's try it. Let's look at an example together. So here we have a reading. The first thing I want to do is read the title. The title gives you the most information the fastest. So if I read this title, Latinos who came to help rebuild are doing well 10 years after storm. Okay, from the title, I know we have some people who came or moved somewhere. It happened 10 years ago and there was a storm. So already I know a lot about this article. Maybe I know who Latinos are, maybe I don't. But I also know this is going to be about Latinos. Next, I want to see if there are any pictures. In this story, we do have a picture. Right here, we see a man working. He's in work clothes, he has big boots on, he's shoveling something. We're not sure exactly what, but this matches the title when we hear that word rebuild. So we know that this is probably a news story or a a real story. This is probably something that really happened somewhere. Now, I want to look at subheadings. Now remember, subheadings are like small titles inside of the reading. So here we have three. Let's read these together. The first one says, working all day, every day. The second one says, starting businesses in a new country. The third one says, number of Latino students is growing. Now if I look at these, I can start to try and match these with what I already know from the title and picture. So for example, the first one, working all day every day, that matches the picture and the title. These are 
this is probably going to be about people who were working hard to rebuild. Now the second one, starting businesses in a new country, hmm, okay, this tells me something. This tells me that these people were probably moving between different countries, not just different areas. So now I have more information. Finally, the last subheading says number of Latino students is growing. I'm not quite sure how that relates to a storm and the picture of the man working. So I need to get a little bit more information so I can have a better main idea. So I'm going to read the first paragraph. Let's read this together. Pascagoula Miss. Hurricane Katrina was a very bad storm. It hit Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida 10 years ago. The storm caused a lot of problems. It destroyed houses, roads, and bridges. There was a lot of cleaning up to do. Many hardworking people came to help. They came from Mexico and other Spanish-speaking countries. So this first paragraph gives me a lot of information that I started getting from the title and pictures and subheadings. Now I know that the area where the storm was was in the United States, in a certain part of the United States. I know it was called Hurricane Katrina, and I know it happened 10 years ago. Now I also have a guess who Latinos are. I think Latinos are people who came from Mexico and other Spanish-speaking countries. So now I'm going to continue, but I'm not going to read every paragraph. I will only read the first sentence of the rest of the paragraphs. So I will just show you two, and you can practice reading the rest of them on your own. So the next paragraph, the first sentence says, the workers knew how to build houses and fix roofs. The first sentence of the next paragraph says, they would sleep in their trucks in parking lots. So now I already know that these people that came to this area after the storm had skills. They could fix things. And I also know they didn't have a place to live. They were sleeping in trucks. So now I'm going to finish reading the first sentences. You can do that on your own. When I finish reading the first sentences of all the rest of the paragraphs, I will read the last paragraph, the whole last paragraph. So let's read this together. The Catholic Church is also trying to make it easier for new Spanish-speaking people. This year, the church brought in two priests from Mexico. There are now five Spanish-speaking priests in one area of Mississippi. Okay, so now I have an idea at the end of the story that the people who came to fix things stayed in this country. So now I have a main idea for this story. It's about people who came from Spanish-speaking countries to a part of the United States to help rebuild after a storm, and they stayed. So thank you for watching my presentation about skimming. I hope it helped you learn a few new things. I hope you try this strategy on your own and that it helps you with your reading in the future.